Welcome to Collecting Everything, where the goal of the series is to collect as many items from the collection log as possible. Come with me on this journey where I take on bosses and challenges I've never done before in hopes of getting those awesome unique drops. And with that, let's begin the journey. Last time on Collecting Everything, we finally finished the Zila outfit from Shades of Morton. We also went and got ourselves the beaver pet at like 19 million woodcutting XP. And we also built our first bludgeoned. Now let's jump into the new episode. Hi, this is me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. Gotcha, bitch. Hey yo, what is up my dudes? Welcome to episode 56 of my Collecting Everything series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking on one of RuneScape's toughest challenges, the Theater of Blood. Story mode. That's right. So, in the most recent update, Jagex made a easy version of Theater of Blood, and now made it a quest requirement for the quest cape. So, I kind of want my quest cape back, so that means we're going to go do some Theater of Blood. Let's do it. Hopefully we don't die too much, and let's just, let's just jump into it. Hopefully it's pretty easy. Alright, it feels so good to finally be done this quest. Shout out to Optimus for helping me get through this, uh, showing me how to do Nilos and, well, Verzik. Those were the two spots in the theater I was, like, really stuck on. I was either dying at Nilos or dying at Verzik. All the other ones in story mode were fairly easy, so thanks a lot for helping me, and, uh, now let's go get some uh, vials of blood because I know that's the only unlock you can get from story mode so hopefully we'll see that pretty soon. It's got a pretty common drop rate so yeah let's go do some more theater of blood story mode because that was fucking awesome. Now I think I can do some solos so I'm going to try that. Alright just helped one of my friends with the uh, night at the theater mini que or quest and Jagex gives me a beekeeper. Can we please get a piece? Karma please? Fuck yes! Beekeeper hat. Mm, you love to see it. That uh, I think I just have two more pieces of this set left. Oh, the hat looks so fucking cool. Oh, fuck. All right, that's awesome. All right, and here we are with five kill count at TOB story mode. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for another five and just stop at 10 kill count, even if I don't get the vials of blood. I think that's gonna be enough experience to start doing normal TOB. Uh, hopefully I'm not like overestimating my skills here and making me seem like I'm a baller and a gamer when I'm actually clearly just a noob. So yeah, there's five kill count. Let's uh, get to 10 and see what happens. Finally, it finally happened. Let's check the log. 1,081, baby! Yeah! Woo! Easy money. 15 mil. Now I'll just keep that and make myself a... Need is not helmet. Or face guard, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll finally make... The need is not face guard. Fuck yeah, finally. Big upgrades, baby. Big upgrades. <sighs> Feels good. Finally, finally got that. I don't even know when Bassless Nights came out, but it's definitely been a while. <laughs> Alright, I can finally block that task, never have to do it again, and uh, yeah, let's go get a new task. Dope, let's go kill some KQ. Alright, and that's where we're going to be ending off all the Calphite Queen killing today. No drop scene, but I guess we'll just finish the rest of this task off at the uh, Calphite Workers. Hey, there we go. Kill count number 10 at TOB Story Mode. This is the last chance for us to get the Vials of Blood from Story Mode. Can we please get lucky and 
get those vials of blood because I'm ready to move on to some good old normal TOB. And no, we are not lucky. Looks like the vials of blood will be obtained in normal TOB. Now I just need to find myself a team, which I heard is the hardest part when you have zero kill count. So we do raids, here I come. Now for some strange reason, I've had the urge to do some barrows. I don't know how long or how many chests I'm gonna go for, but uh, I just wanna get a few more items cause my luck here has been god awful. So let's go get some new items. Oh, hey, there we go. First item in this is so far grind and it's a duplicate so that 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 sucks but at least it's an item Oh That Guthans play body must have uh, broken this dry streak because we just got ourselves a brand new piece of Barrows Derox plate legs hell yeah so it seems that I have a uh, misplaced the clip where I get Torag's hammers and um, yeah uh, well, I got Torag's hammers. That's that's pretty cool. That is a new item. So, ba ding. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Torag's hammers. Not the coolest item. Next. And coming up here, if I don't die real quick, we're gonna be hitting chest 400 at Barrows, and I still have not gotten bored yet. There might be something wrong with me, but we're just gonna keep going and just get some more items. Had copyright music playing in the background. Guthans plate legs. Hell yeah! Woo! Now the odds of this actually being a beekeeper piece is just not in my favor. I got too lucky recently with the beekeepers for this to be not flax. Like this has to be flax. This, statistically, I am just I have to. So let's let's see. No fucking way. We got the beekeeper legs. Bro, we just need the gloves and then we're done and I'd never have to do a random event until they add a new one. Hey, look at that. We got ourselves a new item, the Carol's Coif. Hell yeah. One of the worst items that Barrows can offer and it's an item, baby. Now I am finally starting to feel burnt out from Barrows. So we're going to call it quits here at 500 chests. And, well, no item on the last one, so that sucks, but let's go take a gander at the collection log and see all our brand new items that we got. Alright, and we are now up to 19 out of 25 in the Barrows collection log. Maybe next time we'll finally hit that 20. I would have liked to hit that this time, but, uh, you know, RNG is what RNG be, so... Uh, yeah, maybe next time we'll finally break that, break the 20 barrier, and yeah. I don't know when I'm going to do barrels next, but yeah. And also, we might as well quickly check out the uh, good old uh, random events and see that we just need the beekeeper gloves. So hopefully we'll get a beekeeper soon and can finish that off. So, I think it's time we actually do some real theater of blood and see if we can actually snipe ourselves an item or, you know, just even survive. Uh, got myself a team that that took a while. There's not many people who want to take a zero kill count people, even if they are of the YouTube variety, just because you know they're gonna suck. Um, yeah, uh, Maiden was probably one of the ones that I was actually most nervous of going into normal theater of blood, just because watching like streamers and stuff do theater of blood, seeing them do all the the freezing and stuff just kind of scared me and not wanting to actually learn because I didn't want to let down the team luckily though the team I'm with let me do the uh, easiest role I guess the one that just stands in the middle and just attacks whatever's there uh, yeah so that was greatly appreciated of them uh, this room went on pretty swimmingly I'd say uh, let's just move on to the next one all right now we're at bloat uh, this is one that I thought was really easy in story mode and didn't really have a problem doing uh, however in normal TOB I found it to be a little bit harder <laughs> I think everything was just a bit harder than uh, story mode which is kind of the point right um, yeah I was pretty bad uh, I misclicked a lot and uh, at one point this isn't the first raid we did the first one that we did I died very quickly However, this round 
bloat was very easy and yeah on to the next one all right so now the nilo room this room in story mode gave me probably some of the most trouble just because i was trying to solo and just swapping between all your different attack styles really sucked now the team i'm with had me do a uh, melee on the west side of the uh of the room and this was very appreciated doing like just one one attack style and not trying to swap between a bunch uh yeah not much else to say really easy with a team and not as shitty as a solo yeah i guess there's not much else to say so on to the next room all right now so does that now this one in story mode was by far my favorite i love this one this was so fun uh, however, in normal TOB, I, I may or may not have gotten wrecked once or twice. Uh, yeah, especially with the maze. So I've never done the maze part from the like perspective of following someone. Uh, in story mode, I've always just done the... I always got chosen because solos, right? And, well, yeah, I kind of got wrecked here. All right, now this is where I started to get a little clusterfucked in uh, Sodazek here. Uh, he wasn't letting me turn on my prayer at one point here. I just kept getting hit with like the opposite, uh, well, you know, Ranger Mage style. And it just, every time I tried to turn on the prayer, it was just not, you know, I kept getting the opposite one. You know, that just comes with learning and just, you know, get good, right? So I die here. But then I don't die, so I was kind of like a little flustered here and was just confused. I wasn't looking at the uh, maze because I was like, I'm fucking alive? Okay, cool. Then I go up one too many and then just get piled. So there's my first death of the uh, of this raid. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just chillaxing and relaxing and get to see the uh, rest of the fight. Fun stuff. Now, Zarpus is probably my second favorite boss that you do in Theater of Blood. Uh, however, in this raid, I may or may not have just messed up a little bit. In story mode, pretty easy, right? Not not the hardest thing in the world to do is uh, this boss. And well, once we got to the screeching point of the of this boss. I may have thought that he was looking at the northeast corner and not the uh, southwest corner, and he just destroyed me. So, you know, this is where the clip from at the beginning of the episode where you see me, uh, you wonder how I got here. Well, it's a long story. And you just get vent or poisoned. Basically, I just got shat on. And yeah, let's go on to Verzik and see how long I can last there. Okay, now Verzik. This was a this was a journey all on its own. So, uh, P1 Verzik, good old Phase One, should be the easiest, right? Makes sense, right? Well, yeah, I got fused. <laughs> so, uh, my journey with Verzik ended very very quickly uh yeah i don't even know what i was thinking here i probably thought that, that the pillar could last one more hit and then just got destroyed killing me instantly and then making me watch the rest of my team well you know do the big old carry and yeah that's where my journey with verzik ended and i guess Hopefully in the next raid that I do, I will survive P1 and make it into phase two and then die there, right? So I guess, yeah, let's go and see what we get. All right, so obviously I was the MVP there. Of course, right? Yeah, there we go. That says Krill on it right there. Big MVP. Now, doesn't look like we got any purples. Uh, let's see what we got. Well, that's a hell of a lot better than a story mode. Uh, theater of blood so uh yeah that's it's not bad for the first raid i guess uh well hopefully we'll be doing more of this in the future and uh yeah let's uh maybe we'll send another i don't know 
All right, so this is where we're going to be ending off today's episode. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed. In today's episode, we got seven new items in the collection log, mostly coming from Barrows and also the Beekeeper. If you guys want to see some more TOB content, leave a like and I'll try to get some more completions without dying this time. And once again, I'd like to shout out my teammates for helping me get that first kill count at TOB. Couldn't have done it without you guys because I suck at the game. And with that, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys all in the next episode very soon. Peace out my dudes. Have a great day.